Hey, you guys, Jesus bless this message in Jesus name. I pray. Amen. Okay. On today's exam, my phone, it, uh, as I was doing it, it said storage is running out. And I thought I had a couple more seconds, so I was wrapping it up real quick. But anyway, you never got to 77. So don't worry about it. Just leave 77 open. And we'll pick that up tomorrow. Okay? Because I won't be finished with this. This is going all the way through till Friday. So it's yesterday was number one. Today's number two. And we'll just add number 77 in there. We'll start with that tomorrow. Okay? My grandson fixed my storage. So now it's open again. So that's what happened there on today's exam. All right. Um, don't forget, you guys, write this down. It's called the One Source Network. I put it on my community page. I think it's the One Source Network. Anyway, it's on my community page. Um, he will be doing my interview this Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm asking you guys to go to his channel which I send, I put it in my community page, and give him, you know, a subscribe to him, give him a thumb up, you know, something, if you don't mind. And then Sunday night at 8 p.m., just like y'all did with me with Randy K., man, my, the comment section, the live chat was loaded with you guys showing support from We Are Jesus Doers. That blew my mind. So I'm asking y'all to do that again. Well, I never asked you really the first time, but I'm asking you to do it now, to come uh, this Sunday night at 8 p.m. to the one... I forgot what it's called. The One Source Network or something like that. It's on my community page. And be in the live chat this Sunday night at 8 p.m. We do have the barn this Sunday at 2, which is our Google Meets, which is on our website, JesusDoers.com. The link is under the barn to get in the room. And we're going to be hanging up in there by 5 or 6 p.m. because we're watching a movie this Sunday in there. All right? Very important movie. Very good one, man. It's going to give you another a, a new understanding on what Jesus did in that upper room and the rapture of the church, how that connects. And I'll show it to you. This Saturday, this Saturday, we're having communion in the, up, in the barn. And Friday, this Friday, I'm going backwards, Ada. This Friday, um, there's a young lady supposed to come in and share her testimony because we are in a spiritual warfare war, man. It's a spiritual unseen war that we are in. You understand? So anyway, after the barn Sunday, I'm asking y'all to be at the One Source Network, I think it's called. Be in his live chat when we go live on his channel Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's on my community page, whatever it's called. I forget exactly. But anyway, so I wanted to share that with you. All right. God bless you guys. Just make sure that your walk stays strong. Keep your encouragement up. Let the Word of God encourage you. If ain't nothing in life encouraging you, let the Word of God encourage you. Plenty of encouragement in that Bible. Okay, pay close attention to the studies, you guys. A lot of y'all are asking me about my teaching and stuff like that. The only thing I can tell you is it's Jesus teaching you through my mouth. I don't know how else to tell you other than you get in the Word of God. You make sure you're abiding in Jesus and you're letting His Word abide in you meaning you are obeying God's commands on top of you reading the Bible and praying to him, okay? And then the Holy Spirit will reveal to you, like some girl really didn't understand the division between soul and spirit, how the Word of God, Hebrews, um, I forget what it is off the top of my head, 413 or something, talks about the Word of God dividing soul and spirit. And I explain that to you guys, what that means, as Jesus explained it to me. And that's exactly what it is. You know, so you're going to have to let the Holy Spirit open your mind. I know you guys are coming up in here hearing all kinds of mess out there. I know that, which is why Jesus put me here. And I told you you'll hear some things here you probably never heard before. But you're going to see it in God's Word. He's going to open your eyes to truth, you guys. That's the days we're living in, okay? You've been hearing a lot of destructive, false teaching, false doctrines out there, and people firmly believe it. But you know what Jesus said? He said, my own people don't know my word. And he showed me the destructive doctrines that people have been fed. Satan's infiltrated the church, you guys. You need to understand that. So you need to make a decision to uh, give your life to Jesus and make him Lord of your life and do the studies, man. Ask God to reveal it to you because a lot of the church got their eyes shut closed tight, y'all. God's trying to open your eyes. All right. 
God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus. I'll see you guys tomorrow for part three, and we'll pick it up where this video cut off today. God bless you. Anything you need is in the description on all the videos, okay? God bless you all.